Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we are going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper and your Bible and let's get started. How does prayer work? How does prayer work? There is no magical formula for prayer. In the simplest uh, of terms, prayer is staying in communication with God, talking to Him, spending time in His presence, and drawing near to Him. Through prayer, we express adoration and thanks to God. We make requests known to Him. We intercede for others. And we learn more about His character and His will for our lives. Learning how prayer works is part of the natural process of growing in our relationship with the Lord. As we develop an active and continuous connection with God our Father through Jesus Christ His Son by the power of His indwelling Spirit, we discover the heart of prayer. Prayer is a uniquely human activity. No other beings have the privilege of communicating in such a way with their Maker and Redeemer. But prayer can be intimidating, especially if you are unfamiliar with the practice of uh, if you've been or maybe if you've been taught to see prayer as a complex formal or ritualized activity the foundation of prayer that uh, works is a saving relationship with Jesus Christ Jesus told us to pray in his name think about the book of John chapter 16 verse 23 the Bible says, And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, He will give it to you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name? Ask, and shall you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Of course, that is to pray in His authority on the basis of our union with Him. For what? would honor and glorify God. Because Jesus is our great high priest, we can approach God's throne of grace with confidence. The Bible promised us in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed unto the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. And verse 16 says, let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Do you know the kind of prayer that works? It must be offered in faith. The Bible says in the book of James, um, James chapter 1 verse 5, it tells us exactly the kind of prayer which works. I'm sure there's so many people who are trying to see, why is my prayer not working? Why is my prayer not working? Let me give you a formula here. Let me show you what kind of prayer actually works. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not and shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed to and fro. And verse 7 tells us, For let no man, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So when, when you pray without uh, faith, then... Um, it's not going to work. You have, you must have faith. And part of praying in faith, Jesus taught, is that we must persevere in prayer and never give up. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, 
and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint always pray prayer is rational it is not meant to be forced but rather to flow comfortably from the heart since god knows our hearts he told us he knows our hearts the book of psalms 44 verse 21 says shall not god search this out for he knoweth the secrets of the heart luke 16 verse 15 and he said unto them you are they which justify yourselves before men but god knoweth your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. And also the book of Acts 15 verse 8. And God which knows the hearts bears them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost even as he did unto us. And finally Romans 8 27. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. You see, God knows our hearts. So when you pray, don't hide. Don't, don't say your own things. Don't, don't try to trick him. He knows your intentions. He knows your heart. Prayer is based on God's love for us. As children of a compassionate father, we can trust God and turn to him to care for our needs. Isaiah 64 verse 8. It tells us, But now, O Lord, Thou art our Father, we are the clay, and Thou art our porter, and we are the work of Your hands. Be not wroth very so, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech You, we are all Your people. Do you see the point here? We know God is compassionate Father. He knows us, He knows our hearts. Look at also the book of Psalms 103 verse 13. He says, Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. God always has pity on us as long as we put our trust in him. And if we genuinely want to know how prayer works, we will make our mission to study prayer, the prayer life of Jesus Christ, who is God's son. More than anyone else, Jesus shared a close personal connection with God the Father, and therefore, He is our best example to follow. Jesus gave His disciples this specific teaching about prayer in the book of uh, uh, Matthew 6 5 to 8. He told us, When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward that they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you and uh, pray to your father in private. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. They think that their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them. For your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him and uh, we have to understand that Jesus stressed honest heartfelt prayer based on a loving relationship with God the Father through the Lord's prayer Jesus also gave his disciples a pattern for prayer first he showed them what their motives in prayer should be that God's name should be honored and his will be fulfilled. He told us in Matthew 6 verse 9 to 10, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, a Lord be thy name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You see, it has to be God's will first, not your will first. And submission to God's will was a defining characteristic of Jesus Christ's prayer life. Think about this in the, the book of Luke 22 verse 42. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Hmm. God answers prayer that lines up with his will only the prayer which lines up with his will he told us in in first john 5 14 to 15 
the Bible says, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we uh, we have what we ask of him. Jesus told the disciples that uh, through prayer, they could come to God to meet their daily needs. He told us in Matthew 6, 11, give us today our daily bread. Our Heavenly Father takes care of us. We don't have to worry about what we might need today or in the future. We just talk to God about our needs and we depend on Him as our faithful provider. Prayer also involves uh, searching our hearts, recognizing that we need God's forgiveness and uh, confessing our sins. The Bible says in Matthew 6 verse 12, And forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. So, just as our Father graciously forgives us, we are to forgive those who wrong us. Do you forgive? Giving and receiving forgiveness is a vital element of our intimate fellowship with God in prayer. And Jesus taught that prayer is an opportunity to receive strength from God to resist the enemy's temptations. Matthew 6.13 says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Prayer keeps us tuned to the Holy Spirit's power and guidance to resist temptation and overcome sin. There's a certain pastor and an author called Andrew Murray who provided a good description of acceptable prayer that it must be to the glory of God in full surrender to His will, in full assurance of faith, in the name of Jesus and with a perseverance that, if need be, refuses to be denied. So in conclusion, we have only scratched the surface of exploring how prayer works and the Bible has much more to say about it. The bottom line, however, is that prayer works through the believer's ongoing relationship with the living God. Those who are in Christ have the unique privilege of spending their lives discovering more and more about prayer through loving interaction with their heavenly Father. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel, Keith Muoki, so that you can always be notified whenever we post another Bible question. And if you like to get saved or you need to get a step-by-step order of salvation, how to be saved, so that you can well preach to a friend or family, or maybe you feel led to support our ministry, please visit our website, kithmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one.